Hello, February 13th, 2015. We are uh, just past crossover, uh, past the midway point. We have a couple weeks left here in the session. So we've been working on the budget, this thick old book, um, trying to make some, some adjustments. Uh, we had a budget vote this week. I didn't vote for it. It didn't have Medicaid expansion. Was missing a few other things. Well, there are some good things in the budget, um, some, some positive changes. I certainly wanted to, uh, to see more. Uh, a lot happened this week. I had two bills passed the House. One, uh, Truth and Donating Act, making sure that uh, we know uh, who we're giving some of our contributions to. A second one encourages business to invest in renewable energy. Uh, redistricting reform is big. Uh, in the next few days, hopefully, the P&E committee will take uh, some important votes if uh, the uh, uh, powers that be will let those votes happen. So uh, please contact your uh, legislator and let them know you support SJ. 284, it's comprehensive redistricting reform. Uh, we, we really need that. It's a source of a lot of corruption and gridlock that we have in Washington and in Richmond. Um, ethics reform. I uh, voted against the ethics reform bill uh, this week, and I, I posted on it earlier. The reason why is because the ethics reform bill is being cloaked as ethics reform uh, without comprehensive campaign finance reform. Uh, redistricting reform and an independent body that has some subpoena, investigatory powers. Uh, you know, this is not really being sincere about true ethics reform here in Richmond. That's why I was one of just uh, six people that voted uh, against it. We just need more. Um, privacy rights. I, uh, I'm a big fan of making sure that we don't have too much government overreach, um, uh, gathering data and uh, I helped push a bill along uh, and supported it that would prevent the government from storing uh, uh, the large amounts of data, specifically with regards to your license plate and, and, and other data for long periods of time. They'd be able to <clears throat> look back and track uh, all of your movements. Uh, we need a great balance between uh, personal liberty and, and, and public safety. And what we've seen with NSA, um, issues in the past year and a half that uh, certainly we need to regulate some new technologies in a more effective way. And uh, we unanimously uh, passed a, a bill that uh, gives immunity to someone who is reporting a fatal overdose. So if that person is around in a situation where someone's overdosed and uh, some illegal uh, substance, um, and if they report it, we want to make sure that they feel safe. This should be able to save some lives, so that way they're not fleeing the scene and worried about uh, what's going to happen to uh, to them personally. A lot going on. Um, hopefully, we'll have some some good news here in the second half with some some bills uh, passing uh, through. Hopefully, we'll have uh, some better news on redistricting reform. But we can't do that without you. We need you to contact uh, the legislators here in Richmond. Let them know that you support SJ284. Uh, In the meantime, if there's anything you'd like me to support uh, on a daily basis, you're giving me great feedback about what legislation to support, what to be against, and uh, we've been uh, keeping that to heart for sure. I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll talk to you next week. Thanks.